Out here in northern Kenya, about the only thing to eat these days are the chalky, bitter fruits that grow wild in the desert. A devastating drought is sweeping across the country, and people are beginning to die from hunger and thirst. Kuya Nawit's father withered away last month. Now her mother might starve too. The only thing I can do is to take her to get some help, to wait here until she dies. I am already feeling the sense of losing a parent. In some places, it hasn't rained in years. Lakes are drying up, crops are failing. The United Nations says nearly four million Kenyans need emergency help. No area seems harder hit than the Turkana region, a bone-dry desert that is home to some of Kenya's most traditional people. The Turkana still scar their skin and wear feathers in their hair. They survive in this unforgiving landscape by herding animals. Even in a good year, with good rain, it's a hard-fought existence. Now, malnutrition rates are reaching alarming levels. One woman says all her animals recently died. She's never seen such a drought in her life. She walked 15 miles to get to this makeshift camp to wait for food from World Vision, one of the few aid organizations working out here. At another distribution site, two women collapsed right in front of us. Even the scarce green patches are in danger. World Vision helped build an irrigation project to grow corn in the desert. But with no rain, the crops are thirsty too. The situation is getting desperate. They are surviving on the margins and any little shock to their livelihood will tip them over. We've seen, as we've spoken with the community, how livestock are dying, how camels are dying, and that's normally an indicator of the severity of such a drought. For so long, the Turkana have fought off modernity, but now there's another battle heating up. The drought is exacerbating long-standing tensions between ethnic groups. The Turkana refer to the Pakot, their neighbors, as the enemy, and clashes have broken out recently over limited grazing land. One old Turkana woman told us how the Pakot killed her son and stole all her animals, except these two baby goats. Now her husband has vanished too.